Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to fix a broken zipper using a piece of paracord. We're going to need about a foot of paracord and fixing zippers this way is very effective. It is quite annoying when our zippers get broken and we can't use them properly and easily. By using some paracord, we can actually make our zippers stronger than before. The metal parts tend to break off, while paracord does last quite a while. The zipper pulls are completely washable, so you can throw them in the washing machine without a problem. You can use other types of knots for your zipper pull, but I find this one to be very handy. The Matthew Walker knot used in this tutorial is a very strong knot and it doesn't untie easily. As such it is perfect for zipper pulls, which do tend to get pulled on quite a bit, which could unravel other types of knots. Now if you have any problems tying this knot, I'm going to also leave a link in the description of this video that shows you a more detailed look at this knot, the extended Matthew Walker knot. With that said, let's move on to the tutorial. One thing that I should mention is that I use this style of a zipper pull on perfectly functional zippers as well. It makes them longer and easier to undo. As such, they are very comfortable. Here is my bag and the zipper that has broken off. You can see that the metal part used to pull on the zipper has broken off. We're going to fix our zipper by taking a foot of paracord and we're going to feed one end through the zipper. Make sure that both of your ends of paracord are of equal length. Grab the two ends here at the bottom, then pick up your left end, go over the top and create a loop like this. Pick up your right hand, go over the left hand here on the right side, then behind and through the loop on the left. Like this. Pick up your left hand again and go into the loop on the right, then pick up your right hand and go behind and into the loop on the left. Pick up your left hand again and go into the loop on the right side. And then pick up the right hand again and go into the loop on the left side. At this point we have tied the knot and what we do is we pull on the ends of our paracord and slowly tighten up the knot. You're going to see that you have two cords here going diagonally and we bring these two together like this. Then we pick up this cord here at the bottom that's not quite next to our two cords and we place it next to the two cords. At this point we square up the knot by basically squeezing it a bit and then we pull on one end and on the second and slowly tighten up the knot. This is how the knot will look like and after some tightening I'm going to cut the ends, meld them and our task is complete. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you were able to create this knot. I am aware that Matthew Walker knots are a bit hard to tighten but once you get it down you will never look back. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.